In this short video, I'm going to describe how to use the FET simulation for geometric optics. So when you open up the uh, FET simulation, it should look similar to this. I think that the, um, that the pencil is actually lower. But um, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to change the settings of the radius of curvature, refractive index, and the diameter. So for those of you doing the Lab 6, you need to go to WebAssign and the values for these settings will be given to you on WebAssign. And so my values that I'm going to use for the curvature are 109. The index of refraction, I'm going to use 0.6 and the diameter is 0.3. So the next step in the lab is to measure the focal length of the thin lens. And the focal length of the lens is basically the distance from the X on the principal axis to the lens. So I'm going to use the ruler and you can move the ruler around and I'm going to put the ruler on the X and I'm going to measure the distance from that focal point to the center of the thin lens. So in my case it looks to be about I would say 90 centimeters. So I'm going to record 90 centimeters for my focal length of my lens. Now, the remaining part of the lab, you're going to take the object over here and you're going to move it to different locations. The first location that you have to move it is a distance that's larger than twice the focal length of the lens. So if my focal length is 90 centimeters, I have to move it further than twice 90, which is 180. So let's go ahead and say that I'm going to move it a distance of 190 centimeters. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take my ruler, I'm going to put it at 190. So there's 190 right there. And then I'm going to move my object to this location. And what I notice is that when I put my object here, my image is formed on the other side of the lens. So I can uh, take my object distance to be 190 and then I can take my ruler and I can move it to the other side and I can measure the image distance. And so I would need to record the distance from the center of the lens out to the image. And so when I look at that, starting here and going over, there's 170, it's probably about 172 centimeters. So I have 190 centimeters for my object distance and 172 centimeters for my image distance. So I can use that information and I can calculate the focal length, which I will go through on a separate video.